The F-5A, B Freedom Fighter and F-5E, F Tiger II are part of a family of light supersonic fighters designed and manufactured by Northrop, in the United States, since the 1960s. Hundreds of these planes are still used by various companies' air forces in the world until the 21st century, and this aircraft also became the basis for the development of several other aircraft. Production of the F-5A and F-5E ended in 1972 and 1987. Development of this aircraft began as a privately financed Northrop light fighter in the 1950s. The first generation of the F-5 Freedom came into service in the 1960s. Until 1972, more than 800 aircraft were produced for the country allies of the United States in the Cold War, while the United States Air Force purchased about 1,100 aircraft. The second generation, the F-5E Tiger II family, is also widely used by the United States allies, and in the United States itself is used as a combat training aircraft. The number of Tiger II produced until 1987 reached 1,400 pieces. The F-5 aircraft, which were still in service through the 1990s and 2000s, have gone through many modifications and updates. This aircraft was originally designed by Northrop, under the name N-156, as a light, low-cost, low-cost fighter aircraft. And with easy maintenance, the aircraft was designed to use modified engines from the General Electric J-85, originally created for use on the small McDonnell ADM-20 Quail aircraft carried as a drone by B-52 bomber. The United States Army is interested in using this aircraft as a ground attack aircraft, however the use of winged aircraft remains the task of the United States Air Force, and the U.S. Air Force does not approve of the use of N-156. Although not yet accepted into the U.S. Air Force, the F-5 was successfully used by U.S. allies. However, the F-5 remains unused by the United States for frontline use. U.S. Air Force only adopted the T-38 Talon, a trainer version of the F-5, which became the first supersonic trainer aircraft. Besides that, this aircraft also became the basis for the development of the YF-17, which later developed into the F-A-18 Hornet. In the late 1970s the F-86 Avon Sabre from the 14th Air Squadron, Iswahudi Air Base needed to be replaced. Because the plane was old and manufactured in the 1950s. From the study conducted, the replacement aircraft was chosen the F-5E Tiger II and its procurement process began in 1978 under the name Operation Komodo. This operation plans the procurement of aircraft, the education of pilots and technicians, and the construction of facilities infrastructure and facilities to support the operation of this aircraft. These include the extension of the 500-meter runway, construction of runway crash barrier, formation of drainage, shoulder, overrun, overlay, runway making, construction and rehabilitation of hangars, tower repairs, construction of engine test cells, power check areas, swing compass areas, arming, dearming area, locks plant construction including installation of runway lights, tower lights, approach lights, housing construction, adding electricity and improving the equipment of air navigation equipment, which did not yet exist. With this operation, the Indonesian Air Force re-enters the era of supersonic warplanes and weapon systems adequate as a radar, capable of carrying the AIM-9 Sidewinder missile, the venerable MiG-21 era equivalent of 1960s. And also because the F-86 Sabre planes are not equipped with capable weapons. The United States Navy US, has begun to upgrade the first F-5N Tiger II fighter jets at Naval Air Station Patuxent River. The radical upgrade of the F-5, the first of the three aircraft planned for this test program, is expected to significantly improve the ability of F-5 especially to overcome various obsolescence problems. Naval Air Systems Command, Naver, reports that the Specialized and Proven Aircraft Program Office, or PMA-226, which is responsible for managing the upgrade, earlier this week delivered aircraft to Pax River to test prototype upgrades known as avionics reconfiguration and tactical enhancement, modernization for inventory standardization, or Artemis. Artemis will overhaul the fuselage and twin engines of the J-85-21 and replace its avionics with a state-of-the-art configuration which is based on an open architecture system that allows rapid integration of external or internal jammers, missile pods, air combat maneuvering instrumentation pods, and various air-to-ground armament items including cockpit replacements.
PMA 226 program manager said that, this program will modernize the reliable avionics and tactical capabilities that allows the pilot to win the battle. The Artemis project will also embed various systems such as the F-5 Advanced Tiger, F-5AT, Tactical Air Enhanced with the HUD, HOTAS, Head-Up Display and Hands-On Throttle and Stick Controls, Open Architecture Mission Computer and Program Tailored Operational Flight Enabling Integration of Nemesis Duodich's Advanced Radar and Argus RWR. System, Radar Warning Receiver, IRST, Infrared Search and Track Systems, EA, Electronic Attack, Datalink, and Work Simulation Hobs, High Off Boresight Weapon. All of this work is handled by Tactical Air Support, Inc., which is known as the Operating Contractor F5 in which the company accepts a contract with a fixed price, unlimited deliveries, unlimited quantities for the Navy Department's F5 upgrade that runs from March 2021 to March 2026.